in this country call me teacher LG, but I still think of myself as a student who is passionate about English. Okay, that's it. Now, I'm going to use these emoticons to uh, summarize my present and past for you. Present, ta-da, happy life, lots of love, past, uh, full of, well, yes, you can see. I don't have to tell you, but yes. Uh, I also forgot to tell you that I'm from a very uh, small village in the south of Thailand. Uh, and it was difficult back then because, as you know, I'm overly gay. And you know what people normally do? Well, when, when, when you live in a small town, you know, what's pe what, what people normally do is they, have, they just have so much free time that they have nothing else to do, so they talk about other people. And I, well, unfortunately, I was their target, and the, the pressure was high. The pressure was really high, and I, I spent all my teenage years trying to cope with all the insults, okay? And this is me when I was a baby. I don't know what you see, there, there. But I, I see a really happy boy with potential, a bright future, and dreams. But when that boy grew up, he sort of realized that he was different, and then he discovered that he was gay. And the society around him, including his own family, told him that being gay was wrong. So. This boy, or well, that boy, with a really big smile on his face, became this boy. Okay? Don't take any pictures, please. Uh, this is my present, and that's it. Okay? So he became this boy and uh, with no confidence, and his world was full of confusion and insecurity. I also was a victim of homophobia. Back then, I was sometimes bullied. And, well, because of some homophobic people who would just call me tot whenever they saw me. And tot means faggot. Not a nice word. Uh, worse, uh, my dad was very disappointed. My mom as well. Uh, but it was worse for him. So he shut all his doors. I think he hated me. And I, well, I still loved him, but you know, he, I think he sort of like just hated me and then... Uh, luckily, my, my mom, she's right there. Hi, mom. Uh, she, was very, she was also very disappointed, but she left some windows open for me, okay? Then I grew up, and then I remembered that happy boy, and I wanted to be that happy once again. So, I started with accepting who I was, and I told myself that it's not wrong. I'm just different. It's not wrong. And I forgave so many people. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? When I was young, I didn't, I didn't dare to dream. In, in fact, I was forced not to dream. And I, I just knew that I 
<clears throat> I just knew that I couldn't change the way people thought about me. So I, but I could change the way I thought about them. So I forgave them. I forgave so many people. And the word thought that was thrown at me couldn't hurt me anymore. Uh, it became just a word. Okay, so I, <laughs> I became interested in English because I wanted to escape. When I was young, my, my English was like horrible, you know, I couldn't speak. Seriously. I was born and raised in a Thai-speaking family and I went to normal Thai schools all my life. My English was horrible. I couldn't speak, I didn't want to speak, I didn't want to talk. But then I needed it because I, I wanted to go far away. So I started practicing English by myself. I would just sit in front of the telly and try to understand what you know, those native speakers were saying and it was difficult at first. It was so difficult, you know? And, but then I got used to it and then my English got better and better. Nowadays, people often say that, oh, LG, your English is good because you have an English boyfriend. It's not true. Well, he helps me a lot, but <laughs> it's not true, you know? It's not fair to say that. Anyway, uh, back then, I could read so many good books because of English, okay? And those books helped me forget about fears and problems. Well, I didn't, do, I didn't read this one, okay, when I was young. I read this when I, well, just, well, I read this a few months ago, but anyway. Uh, now, <laughs> here is another quick summary. Uh, of my life. Because of English and my determination, I got a place at Jula. I came to Bangkok as a country boy. I met so many amazing people and I learned so much. I learned so much from my faculty. Uh, I also discovered that I wanted to be an English tutor when I was studying at Jula in my third year. After graduation, I went to study in the UK. I came back to Bangkok and then I set up Angrids. I got the name, well, this name, when it was in my third year. You know, what you see today was just a name and some vague ideas. So this is my school. Now I have so many amazing and adorable students and yeah. And these are uh, the three words behind Angrids, okay? Knowledge, passion, attitude. I'm gonna start from the bottom, okay? Uh, well, this is for those of you out there who is, this is for those of you out there who are so afraid of English, okay? You just have to remember that if you want to be good at English, okay? You have to begin with the right attitude, okay? And keep your passion alive. Passion is key. You have to bear in mind that no one can give you that, okay? And then you just keep practicing. Don't let anything or anyone stop you. And you will discover Discover lots and lots of valuable pieces of knowledge along the way and always move on with more passion from within. And these, well, that's my dad. We we'll talk about him in a bit. But these three words, I think, are also the keys to some of my achievements. Today, I wake up every morning feeling so blessed to live my life the way I want. I'm so happy again. I don't have to prove anything anymore. 
I talk to this man again, and that success to me. That's it. My family is happy again. All the doors are open again. Now, uh, I want to say goodbye with this. Okay. I want my life to be. Tada! Now, choose one or two, or all the words to fill in the blank. Amazing, inspiring, fantastic, marvelous, gorgeous, splendid, remembered, memorable, big, sophisticated, beyond imagination, or legendary. Okay, choose one or two or all of them. You know what? These. Words won't matter in the least without one simple word. Do. Some. Well, I have to tell you this, but people were born under different circumstances. Some were born with silver spoons in their mouths, and some have to try really hard in order to achieve. Something. So this word is for all of us, for all of you out there, who still have to try really hard. Every day you wake up. Okay. Uh, you will attend more talks like this. You will be inspired over and over again. People like me. And so many inspiring people will make you realize that you shouldn't just dare to dream, but you have to do to make your dreams come true. So you can dare to dream bigger and bigger. And remember, not all dreams end up beautifully. Dreams can sometimes be nightmares, but that's part of life. Thank you. <laughs>